You know, it never ceases to amaze me how good Kaguya-sama is. Kaguya-sama is greatness. And it's just freaking hilarious how much this show is funny and stuff like that. And I I just love this show, man. This show is freaking hilarious. Just from the standpoint what this show's elements and its tones can give me. Like, it's freaking hilarious. I watched this episode yesterday after, um, before I went in for work yesterday. And man, what a funny ass episode. Um, let's get to the start. Me, the Miko, you know and uh ishigami scenes of the whole standpoint we get the whole start of we already know it's established that these two characters do not like each other but they also kind of set it up in a way where it's like oh can we be getting a relationship out of these two like is this like maybe the second potential ship i personally ship ishigami with chica but then again it's like no miko and ishigami kind of make a cute couple to be honest because it's the whole opposites attract type of angle they're like these two characters don't like each other and they hate each other's guts so much and might actually bring them together and get them super damn close um which i thought which i think is a very adorable but just the links and the facts that um that uh sharona sharona gay and uh miko ino's friend um try to go to get them to be friends and connect and everything and stuff like that because at the start of the episode they talk bad about each other like their most negative parts and stuff like that like miko's like he's a lazy crappy frick that just doesn't do anything right and everything and you know Ijigami's like bro she's just annoying she gets on you for the littlest things and stuff like that um and then just seeing just the ideas that are coming up like just some of the things like one of them was just like carry um carry carry um you know have ishigami carry you know like a princess dude's carrying her by these ropes like he's about to hang her or something like that and i'm like oh my gosh they're doing all these crazy things that they're doing the opposites of because they just don't like each other um, and then Miko Ino's friend just brings up well you know it's actually pretty interesting that you guys are very like you guys don't like each other that much because you know that's honestly, you know, just because you don't, you know, when you like, when you don't like somebody like that and people act like that, especially in a school setting, typically that means you actually have feelings for said person. And they literally look at each other they're like, what? And then they just repeat. Um, I forgot what they said. They repeat, they repeat the, they essentially repeat these lines in this robotic fashion. And it goes until the end of the segment for this episode and stuff like that. And, you know, they're like, yeah, no, 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 no. That's not working out and stuff like that. So, you know, that was fl flipping hilarious. And then the next part of the episode, we only get like two more parts of the episode, which just kind of connect together. And it's the whole thing of uh, Sharona Gay going to like this karaoke place with these with these dudes. And essentially, it, it's just a whole thing where it's like it could end up turning into a whole I guess you can say, I don't know if I should say this word, to be honest. Let's just say uh, it can end up turning into a place where dudes and girls, you know, party too much and they might end up doing some uh, some things, uh, some some very perverted things and stuff like that, and just messing around and stuff like that. And obviously, Kaguya is hearing this and obviously, you know, the thing is, she don't want Sharona Gay to go that way. Go, go to that. And it's funny because I, I highest because like, well, why don't you go with him? And obviously, Kagi is like, I can't do that. You think I'm, you think I'm gonna do that? No way. I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> um, she's like, you're gonna go in my place. So we get the whole I um, the Hayasaka type of thing there. She enters there. This one weirdo is hitting on her and stuff like that, and just not giving her space while Sharona Gay is there. But she's like, yeah, this guy dunked me, actually, and stuff like that. Left me on red. And he's like, oh, oh, I didn't know. Oh, my bad. I mean, stuff like that. And it gets to the point where um, Shar um, um, Sharona Gay, he's about to leave and everything. But then, like I said, one of the dudes are trying to hit on Aya, 
um, on Hayasaka, but he does the right thing. Pulls her out of there, makes sure you know she's okay and not in a con- in a position where she's uncomfortable and stuff like that. And that's when you know Hayasaka and him talk, and she's like, you know, listen, oh, I'm not gonna lie, I was mad, you know, at what happened, but it is what it is. Now you can somewhat make it out to me and stuff like that. So they go to this, they go to this other karaoke room and stuff like that, and you know that's when. Hayasaka is like talking to Kaguya and she's like well I got him out of there and stuff like that but I think I'm going to turn up the notch a bit I'm going to do my own thing with him and obviously Kaguya's like wait what are you talking about and she's like I'm sorry Kaguya Miss Kaguya but I have to do what I got to do um (laughs) and it gets to the point where Kaguya's like this girl's gonna steal my man um and everything and you know the whole thing and that whole scene was hilarious of the standpoint she gets in the karaoke room in her disguise and she's approaching the door one thing she's walking through all the other doors she sees all these freaking things going on like we have one freaking group making out couple making out i'm like oh my gosh what the heck bro um but the door is covered she gets there she's like oh my goodness what are they doing in there and then she overhears like these things and it's funny because both they're both saying like i guess sexual undertones and stuff like that like high is like oh it's so big and you know <laughs> freaking uh, sharonica is like it's tight and uh, i'm like oh my god <laughs> i think the sexual undertone man hilarious because kaya is thinking like oh my gosh they're having sex um which is hilarious and she's like i should go in there but what if i go in there and they're like in the middle of it and it's like oh my god and so she calls up chica bro she's like chica i'm here at the karaoke place you know you want to come sing some karaoke with me and chica's like oh sure yeah i'll come and everything um but the thing is what happens is uh sharonike leaves kaya goes in and we find out that hi um uh, um hayasaka what happens is she's kind of just out of it no she's not out of it or exhausted because she actually did it with him she's exhausted and mentally done because of sharona gay's bad singing which they bring a which is an element they brought way back from season one so she you know she's like this dude's rap is so terrible Get me the hell out of here because I don't know how much more I can take of this. If this guy actually had an angel's voice, who knows what I would have done to him. Um, I might have actually went all the way with this guy. I'm not going to do this and everything. I was trying to do this as a way to get you back for payback, but hey, it is what it is. Um, Get me out of here. And it's, I died of laughter at the part when Chica shows up and Chica's like, wait, oh, what are you guys doing? Why are you guys leaving? And obviously they bring up the whole fact about Sharona Gay's bad singing and rapping and Kaguya, uh, not Kaguya, Chika literally remembers and recalls when she tried to help him sing from, I think it was season one or I think it was season one. And she's like, and she has those bad memories and she's like, I think I'm going to go home now. Um, <laughs> that, that lost me because we know she going to be the upstart person, but when she, when it came to his singing, you know, she did not like it at all. And the fa- and I died of laughter when she was like, yeah, I'm gonna go home now. It's not worth it. Um, so yeah, you get this nice talk between Kagi and Hi- Hayesuka. Um, and it was the whole thing of, you know, Hay- Hayesuka, like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I am jealous of you and stuff like that you don't take the opportunity you don't take the chances you're you need to be willing to chances i was honestly trying to seduce him and maybe get him to do something with me um you know and stuff like that but you know maybe we're just alike that way and stuff like that so that was an cute little you know moment i do kind of make think kaguya and um Hayasaka are like sisters in a way so it's cute funny business that whole stuff sharana gay goes back and he's like wait where did everybody go um and stuff like that so yeah and then oh my goodness the ending dude the freaking ending yo what the hell was that and i'm not saying it in a bad way but it was great the ending was dope um and stuff like that I, i'm like what am i watching i'm like this is like looks something like at a halo and some sort of angel wars or something like that you know i'm like what the heck is going on here man um 
it's it, it was wild to see what the heck was going on but it was uh pretty cool and funny um and then you know nice sweet i think the ending song is good as well um and stuff like that so yeah um that's gonna be very interesting now the one thing i did take away from the ending was the fact that you know we have we had sharon gay wake up from like a nap or something he felt his cheek or something and kage was right there i'm like wait did she kiss him does that mean are we setting up a potential relationship this season now um don't know um i would be extremely happy but um we'll see we'll see but anyways um that's my thoughts on kaguya sama season three uh, episode two again great great episode i enjoyed it i had a blast watching it and uh i need more of this but anyways i'm gonna get out of here hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're checking out this video leave a like put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode of kaguya sama as well as anything else otherwise guys get out i'm getting out of here see you guys later peace